Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Enemy100, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be playing Reflex, but I'm also going to be talking about why I brought a PlayStation 2 for the second time, and this game is, is actually a reason of why. I don't know how long this will be, but I'm going to explain um, uh, exactly why I bought one for the second time. So I hope you enjoy this video. Alright, hold on. I have to change some stuff real quick. I don't want to edit this, but I know I probably will. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah. So it is August 2020, and I brought the um, uh, PlayStation 2 in late June, and I bought it from Amazon, and I bought it for about um, uh, for around almost $200. Yes, I literally spent almost $200 on a PlayStation 2 console. Now I think it was a used console. Hold on. Freestyle. Now, the PlayStation 2 that I bought, I I think it was a used console, and I got it from a, um, uh, I got it from a, it wasn't sold by Amazon, it was sold by, um, uh, somebody was selling it on Amazon, and I decided to, um, uh, buy it. And like I said before, I spent almost $200 on it, which, well, some people might say that too much money, I know. And there was this one store that sold old games, um, uh, and, uh, and I couldn't get it from that store, because the store was closed, and I didn't feel like waiting until the store opened, because I had no idea when, because COVID-19 is literally happening right now, and it up. So yeah, I was basically, I have a job, but other than that, I was literally stuck in my house. I bought this from, uh, well, I was living in a different part of my, um, uh, state. I was thinking about getting one, but then I didn't, but then, not, 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 then I started thinking about, you know what, I'm just going to, um, uh, buy one. Now, before I bought this thing, this is a lesson for everybody out there to buy stuff. Do your research. See if you can find. If you want something official and you want to get that, you can go to the official website or go to the website that sells that type of product. Because for me, wanting a PlayStation 2, new one or used, I looked around. I don't. I didn't go on eBay because I don't shop on eBay. I'm not going to do scammers. So there's another video. I'm not on eBay. You can check that out. See if I can leave it in the description. And um, uh, I went to, um, uh, I went to GameStop.com. You know, I'm at it right now. I went to I went to their website. They they said that they that they were unavailable. And um, and I um, uh, I think I searched on Amazon too before I bought it off Amazon. I searched I don't know how many times on Amazon for a PlayStation. And I looked at um, uh, individual people and different vendors and read the comments. My uncle and my mother always say, read the comments. When you buy something from an online store, especially Amazon or eBay, make sure you read the comments before you buy that product. Because you can buy it and it might not work. And I read the comments. Um, uh, well, actually, yeah, I read the comments and I, um, uh, I went to the vendors. Uh, there, there was no occasion, but um, uh, I went to, I forgot what part I went to, but I wanted to see how positive the comments were. And they were 97% positive in the last three months. They were around 90 something for the last six months. And then for around a year, I think they were around 90 or 80 positive by the age six. And I was sitting there thinking, okay, this guy's okay. 
So I bought it from, I believe, I think it was a guy, or actually no, it wasn't a guy, it was a store that was selling it, it was a store. And um, uh, so I bought it from that, from that place or store, guy or whatever, store, for almost $200. And actually no, uh, actually no, it wasn't a store, it was actually a person. I remember, when came the UPS box, it was all taken up. Came in, it came in a bubble wrap bag, you know, and it also came with some games. It came with, with Prince of Persia. Actually, it actually came with like three or four Prince of Persia games. Actually, and Clint was there. He was there as well. I forgot what it was. I think I put the games back in the box, so I have to. I, ha I actually have to find the box. Because I will play. I I am I am a Russian Clint fan, so I will play. So I will play that game. I will play this one. And. What else? And the Prince of Persia games I have never seen. I don't even know if they made it into a movie, I'm not sure. I think they did. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but yeah. So, yeah, so I bought it, and I bought a missing game for it too. The most recent game that I got for it, I believe, was Test Drive Eve of Destruction. And I think I'm done buying old games. I'm playing all games, just games for Actually, no, I'm actually not done by games for it. Uh, some new games that I am going to for it, just not right now. I thought I was doing from the store that sold old games, and I haven't played that yet. So, and I bought Monster Jam, Urban Assault, I still have to buy the first one. But I don't know. Adventures. I got a bunch of ATV games and I actually have two test drive games but the Eva Destruction was, was my favorite one so I got it the second and I, I, also, I also decided to buy Grand Turismo 4 I thought I would have some new cars in there because it was at least my two out of four but, but I had cars from like from, uh, the 1900s basically but My first cars that were on there, Mitsubishi Eclipse. That's actually um, uh, my first car, and that car was on there. And yes, I drove it in the rush of I didn't know that they used that car for racing. I'm just kind of happy that you did, but yeah. So. The main reason that I bought the position was because of the MX vs. ATV. This is one of the ones, this is one of the only ones that I played. They started removing stuff and adding new stuff in the release MX vs. ATV. Um, uh, untamed. They took away the helicopters and the golf carts in that one. And in Reflex, they added, um, uh, um, uh, they added sports trucks, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they added sports trucks. And in the live version, all they had were and four wheelers, and it was basically, and this version of TV Alive was basically you race outside. They had short tracks and they had long tracks, you know it. They had two free ride on the long tracks and the Devil's Playground and something else, which was my stepbrother and my friend and my enemy and that actually went on with a couple of times. It was actually a small push on me, a small island, which I played on one of my friends. So it was okay for a while, but after a while, I think it was a little bit hard. For me, I got tired of it. Because in previous games, you race in stadiums and stuff, and you have different. Oh crap! <laughs> okay, I didn't do that. And then you have different kinds of vehicles and stuff. This one just had the ATVs and the bikes. And that's it. Now, in MX. Ah, uh, crap. No, in MX versus ATV Supercross. If you buy the game, you immediately know what 
to get in. It's going to be a super press game. Mm, we should see a fiddler on there. Which, and actually, no. We saw a fiddler on the unlock cover, so we know a fiddler. But, but yeah, and the only, the only freestyle type of thing that they had on there was free riding on the racing tracks on there. didn't even feel real. They didn't even feel they look like they could jump us. The, the, um, uh, the chess that they put on that game just looks so damn cheap. Like, if they made those chess in real life, it looks like the construction workers just literally put whatever the hell they want to put on there and didn't even give a damn. They just said, okay, let's put a two and four, a big one, four, and four. It's like they didn't even care. the game that came out. Also, the only thing on that game that I really liked was the rhythm racing. Now, after that game came out, they had MHS ACD all out, which is the worst one <laughs> of all so far. MHS ACD all out is the worst one so far, and if they keep doing what they're doing, the MHS ACD series is just going to get worse. The image with the ATV series is just going to get worse. If we keep doing, just so you know, I'm not even trying to win these right now. I'm just going to these guys. But uh, if they keep doing what they're doing with the MX vs. ATV series, if they keep doing what they're doing with the MX vs. ATV series, it's just going to get it's just going to get worse and worse from here. Because on a serious um uh note, this game right here is actually fun. Now, this is the only game that I play anymore because it has MX lights, MX spikes, ATVs, UTVs, sports trucks, sport buggies, and sport um uh trucks um uh two whatever the heck, whatever the heck they're called. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But MX vs. ATV, the controls felt a little better, but still bad at the same time. And um, uh, they they had MX spikes and MX spikes in there, of course, or MX spikes. In there. And they had UTVs on there too, but that's all they had on there. That's and that's and that's what I don't understand. They made an incredible save by having all this other vehicles on there, and they just kept making it worse and worse and worse after Reflex. After Reflex, it just got horrible. They tried to make it better by putting some cross on it. Okay, you added a couple of things, but where are, are, um, uh, where are the other events that you can do? Where do you can be? The vehicles and shit. Where's all that? That's what I don't understand. They made an, an incredible game and they just got lazy with the series and added whatever they wanted to add to it and just give you that. Because in the new one I haven't played in a while, I think they have freestyle events, but and they are but they mainly just have racing indoors and outdoors. And it tries to look more more real like I just some time doing it. But uh, the games I have the most realistic tracks so far is in this game, which honestly are mo uh, no, it's Monster Energy and Monster of Cars. So at the time of this video, they have to be game time for the And for that game, it looks like they actually spent time to make the tracks. But those tracks look real, and I've seen some of their tracks before. Because what this game has never done, or what I haven't seen, or at least what I haven't seen from this game, so I think I went on a track that was in the short and the track went up into the stand, so it's like a small curve, and it went into the stand to come back out. And I've seen the um, uh, Las Vegas track, and they, and that track on there, they literally took it from real life, and the track, the Las Vegas track in the game, it looks like they took it straight from the real life track in the real life game. I mean, they spent some time. When I say time, I mean... I don't know how long it took to make it, but they did really good on that game. And they spent some 
Hmm. They... I have no idea how they explain it, but that looks good. That... The tracks on there look good. And they tried to make the tracks better by releasing a few things on the of ACB. I haven't reached the last figure track yet, but I don't know if they get good or not on it, but people are not happy. And other than this, we just released some real life tracks on there, which is okay, but you know, get that or release the game. Actually, take the time to actually make the game look good. Instead of releasing a DLC package and making it waste. I mean, my store can really just buy it if it costs money. I don't know if it's a free DLC or not. I haven't really paid attention to it. But many of the first games of this that came out, like ATV Auto City, that was a fun game. That was um, uh, basically just ATV. The first, second, and third ones were basically just straight up ATV racing. And the fourth one, when the fourth one came out, they added um, uh, their bikes, they added sports trucks, they had jeeps on there. Basically, they had different types of vehicles, and my favorite on there was for the jeeps. And how you could um, uh, race in the same course at the best and stuff. I used to do um, that. That was a night course that I used to do all the time. Because back when I was younger, I was just playing in front of the But yeah, um, uh, at that time, that was the best dirt bike game that came out at that time to me. And then they released another one um, uh, after that called um, uh, MX vs. No, no, yeah, yeah, MX vs. ATV. Um, uh, Unleash, yeah. Unleash was the one that they, um, uh, release, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to put these into words as I'm playing this game. I'm, I'm trying to put these into words. So when the first one came out, I haven't really played the first one, but I've seen some gameplay on it when I was younger, and it, and it, and it actually looked really good. And the second one was the funnest one to me, and it was like crazy. And it, actually, and, 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 and it looks good too. And if you enter the cheat, I give up. Everything gets wrong. And I actually did that when I found that out. Then after that, they, hit, they came out with MSW ATV 3. No, 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 sorry. ATV Oracle 3 3. Which kind of looks scary to me. You know what I mean. Then they came out with MS vs. ATV 4, which to me was the best one. They had all the different all the charts, and all the And then they came out with MS vs. ATV Unleashed. Now, that game, that game had everything. And to this day, that game is literally the best game ever made to me. In that game, they had MX Lights, MX Lights, ATV. I believe they had buggies, UTVs, go um uh motorized go karts or whatever the heck they were called, and they had um, uh, I don't I don't know if they had sports trucks, but, but yeah they but yeah they had buggies and monster trucks. So yeah, MX so yeah, MX lights, MX lights, ATVs, helicopters, monster trucks, buggies, go karts, and I don't know about sports trucks. I forgot. Because I had to do this thing. But yes. Now, besides MX Unleashed, what other game have you have you seen that has golf carts, helicopters, monster trucks all in the same game with the other game that I said? What other game has all of those vehicles in that game play? Can I tell you the truth? I don't know. There are in, uh, other games out there like that, except for MX vs. AT. I mean, except for MX Unleash. Please tell me, because I want to see. Um, I might do a future video on this if you guys can tell me. And what else? What else? What else? Yeah, so yeah, that game. Hold on. So yeah, that game so far to me is the funnest one because of everything that it has in it and everything that you can do. Put them all on the track and all that stuff. 
And then the other one came out, MH for um, uh, MH versus ATV and Tandem, took over the helicopters and the um, uh, monster trucks that you can drive in the stadium, they took those away. Well, they kept the monster trucks that you can't drive in the stadiums anymore, they had to be outdoors. They took away the helicopters and the go-karts and they had a sport trucks. Now, I think they had UTVs and those trucks. Yeah, they took away those and uh, they took away some stuff, added a few things, checked it better, it's only a sport on the on the DS2. But yeah, they but, but yeah, they took away that stuff and added a few things that they should not have. And then that's when they started taking away things. That's when it started to get worse for the people from uh, who wanted those vehicles in the game that they And then they came out with this game, which was very Now in the DS version of MS vs ATV like they have monster trucks but it's very digitalized so of course it's going to be digitalized because it's on the DS and it's not as fun I mean it's fun if you're bored honestly but yeah so yeah and this game was fun in this game they added something called rider reports where you get to control your rider like you can control the bike like right now I'm controlling the bike and now I'm controlling the rider. You can see the difference. Control the rider and the bike all together. Hold on, I'm just going to turn this way. But yeah, first I was controlling the bike. Hold on, I'm controlling the bike. Like this. Controlling the rider. Like this. Put them both together, you get this result. Yeah, you don't get that result. You put them both together, you do get a good result, and that's how I win from a mini in my race. I put them both together, and that's when they actually, that's when the, that's when the controls in the game started to get better, and that's and that's the reason why I started playing this. And in this one, they took away the monster trucks. They kept the buggies and the sports trucks and they added sports trucks twos. Then that's when they came out with a lot of the other ones, which completely suck. Now that's the main reason of why I bought a PlayStation 2 is to play those old games that I really um, uh, loved back then, the ones that are better, the ones that have more for you to do. And I told myself, since I was buying a PlayStation 2, I might as well buy some of the old games that I love back then as well. So I decided to buy Monster Jam Urban Assault because that game literally looks the weirdest to me. And uh, uh, the jumping and the running and the crushing, it looks the most real. There are tons of mini games in that game to do. The amount of that game is great out of the city. thing skip so yeah that was the model for the um uh, game it was to break out of the stadiums and on to city streets that was the main model for the game and i liked it i actually liked it and um uh they had all these fun mini games all the monster trucks many of them that you can see nowadays like backwards five i don't think you see that trick anymore but yeah, they had all these, um, uh, they had all the awesome trucks like Grave Digger, the original Grave Digger, the construction, and all that. But if you guys don't know who those trucks are, you can look up the game and look up those trucks as well. That seems to be the game. That game was just really fun. Oh yeah, and it looked real. All the tracks on there. Act well, actually, the only track that looked the most real. that looked the most real was the world final track in Las Vegas. Every other track of course is going to add and they're going to add history and the other tracks are going to add a bunch more stuff of course. 
But the World Honor Strike in both the original and the second one. I'm, I'm uh, in Monster Jam and the um, uh, 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 second one the World Honor Strike. And the ones that came before that, and like uh, this other one, just came like the one by Rockstar. That one I got it on Game Boy, and it's actually fun. And I actually like Spider Man. I'm also getting that one instruction to go on Game Boy. Game Boy one is uh, and kind of outdated. That one was really too fatiguing to like see why they had guns. It has all of these. Had all of the awesome shots at the time, and the awesome things, and all this other. Basically, all this other awesome stuff. Basically, your battery shots, all the shots trying to win. It looks fun, and I have a new system. Also, Monsters, Four by Four, I think it was called, it was called. That game, that game is one of the most real Monster Chain games I've seen. Four by Four colors and shots look real, they bounce on the drive wheel. And even say some words that I didn't know at first. Like, lateral equilibrium. I didn't know way back then. Came out with Monster Jam, the video game, then Monster Jam, Urban Assault, then Path of Destruction, which is very fun. I used to play the ever living hell out of that game because you can really go into the game and go into the, um, uh, they have these little sections where, where, where you have to like complete all of the different, um, uh, tricks and you just stay in those stadiums and just do tricks. I mean, just do freestyles but not do the trick. It was fun though, it was very fun. I think it should be the best interest of the game. They even spawn a monster game tour of guard cast of destruction where they go to the, um, uh, to all these different stadiums and drive on and up and then they are in the shoulder stuff. And it even came to my town, it even was on there. They were at that, they were in the big stadium and we were on TV for that. And then they came out with, ugh, a very bad one, which was only about the one. Monster Jam as big as it did. I tried to play that a couple of times. I couldn't take it. I just couldn't play it. I could not take it. I just couldn't take it. I just couldn't take it. I just kept playing games in the game because that's still not right. Many of these, many of these things I have ads like the video we had, I uninstalled it from my phone. Monster Jam app didn't work with me, so I stopped that from my phone. Any of these apps know that they have to let me do this now, and they need to do it like this, but this is just the only way I got to do it. Ooh! Okay, good, I made it. But yeah, and I bought a test drive, one of the original ones, because I wanted to play video test drive games. Well, not because I wanted to play it, but because I had a PS2 and I had to buy it. And I bought Ed and Mitty, The Mist Adventures, because I never played that game, and I really wanted to play it. I had it on, on Game Boy, but now the, the console version, which is better than I thought it was. And it's actually fun. The fun thing is tough to Things that can really get stuck on you. And I also bought Test Drop Evil Destruction, which was the last one in the DLC while I played. It took me a long time to find. I thought I had the correct game. It was Test Drop something. I forgot what it was. And no, it, no, it wasn't Test Drop. It was Flat Out Number Two. I was looking for that game when I first went by the position, but I think I didn't. And then, before I found out that that was the right game, I did some more research on Flat Out to see if it was the right one. And then I found Tough Drop to be the construction of the Tough Drop. And I was sitting 
I'm like, holy shit, this is a game not me. I'm not even if that always happens. The birthday game from um, was a horror video. I don't know what the game is called. I visited that game, but it was fun. I was in the end, and I did not Basically, he said there was a lot to do on there. He said that Vice City was the funnest one. So I'm going to buy Grand Theft Auto and not Vice City. I'm buy it. Maybe a few more games on there that I also have that I also might not buy. I also have a few more games that I. Grand Theft Auto 4, I told you that about that already. And, um, uh, what else? And, yeah, so I think I might actually, um, let me actually search, let me actually look in here. I, I actually have some of them right here. I'm going to look at some of the games that I, um, uh, have as I quit this. Hold on, let me quit this right now. Because I know I have more because many of these games were are um uh, fun um uh um uh, um uh, from back then many of them I, I never even had many of them I really wanted to, I really wanted to um uh, buy so I can beat them and they were also fun back then like Need for Speed Underground one and two I bought those as well and I actually played I think I played both of them already I'm not sure I think I might only play one of them. And I recently bought an old Transformers game for the, well not an old one, but uh, I'm a, one of the most recent ones. I think it was Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. I bought that, and I do not want that game, because the, in that game, I was looking for one of the games where you turn into a car and a robot and all that stuff. And I found it at this old game store that I, that I told you about recently um, earlier in this video. I bought Transformers the game, cause I wanted the game where you change into a robot and you have to fight and you and you, and you change into a car and you have to drive. So I bought um uh, the Transformer um uh, Transformers the game, cause that's that is that is the one that I wanted. Cause back then I saw somebody play it somewhere, and that is actually the one. That I um uh, wanted because I saw somebody play that, and that's the one that I um uh, wanted because that's the one that I saw back then. Hold on, guys, I'm still looking through this now. Am, now, 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 ATV Off Road Fury, the first one I have never played that one, but I saw somebody play it somewhere, so I bought it. And there are a few more. Now, here are some more. Here are two that I have in my hand right now. No, my camera's not on, and, my, and, I, and, and I'm not going to actually see my face for a while. I'm going to be like, it's too delirious. If you don't know who that is, look it up. I also bought Codename Kiss Next Door or KND Operation Video Game because that is one game that I had back then, but I got stuck on the second boss and I couldn't beat it. So I decided to buy that game again after I figured out how to beat the damn boss so that I could finally beat the game. And from what I've seen in the game, the game is kind of short, but it'll be sweet to play it at least and finally beat the damn thing. It's short if you beat it, if you play it really fast. And I also bought um, a Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, but I think they should have called this Size Matrix because that sounds better. But yes, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. I had this game on the PlayStation Portable or PS or PSP for short. And I beat the game, I think, once. I had it way back when I was a kid, and, and I was just playing it for fun. And I think I got to the last level... One of those levels that I couldn't exactly beat. And um, uh, I just stopped playing it. So I decided to buy it again. And um, uh, this time... Well, last time I didn't buy it, it came with my, PS, with, with, with my PSP. And I decided to buy it and get it on the console version of systems. So that I can finally beat it. 
And those are all of the old games. There are a couple of 360 games in here too that I bought and I'm uh that I also bought, but I'm 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 talking about the PS2 today. But the main reason of why I bought a PS2, let me go back. The main reason of why I bought a PlayStation 2 was so that I could play the old dirt bike games, ATV Offer Free 1 through 4, and MX vs. ATV Unleashed. I mainly bought it so I could play Unleashed. I really wanted to play that game because many of the MX vs. ATV games that are out like that that um uh that came out after Reflex just completely and other and utterly suck. There are a few good things about those games that have come out, but they but they aren't good enough to get me to want to play them all the time or buy them or whatever. Even though I have bought them, I still traded them in. They 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 even came out with MS vs ATV Encore, which gives you all of the DLC stuff, and they think that that is going to um uh make more people buy it. Well, it did. Well, I bought it, yes, but I still traded it in and got the newest one. And then they released MX vs. ATV Reflex, Reflex for free on PlayStation. I mean, Xbox, sorry. And I decided to get that. They also have some DLC tracks on Reflex that, that I think I might buy as well. But we'll see. But yeah, the main reason that I bought it was to play MX vs. ATV Unleashed. And I told myself since I was going to buy that, I should just buy all of the other games that I didn't beat. Or had on the Game Boy Advance, and I should play those on the PS2 and actually beat them, play them, and have fun with them since I've never done that before. And um, yeah, I I told myself that I should get the ones that were on the Game Boy, get them on the console version, so I could um uh, play them on there and beat them. And the and the other old ones like Need for Speed Underground One and Two, so I could beat that, have fun with that. The other Dirtbag games, so I can have fun with those. A few of those games I bought just so I could beat them. Like, I'm a code name Kiss Next Door. I bought that so I can beat it. I bought Russian Unclean Size Matter so I can beat that on the console version. So, yeah. And the first time I got a PS2, I didn't buy it. My mother bought it for me. I think it was a Christmas or a birthday present. I don't know. But, yeah, I got one. But yeah, this and I traded it in because I traded it in because I thought the games were going to get better, but apparently they didn't. They got worse. And uh, there are still a few more games on here that I want to buy. Like there's a Cartoon Network game on, game on here that I want to buy. Some kind of brawling game. I still need to get Vice City. There might be a few more on this console that I want to buy. So I'm not done buying PS2 games yet. I need to get the original Monster Jam 2. But I might can find that on the on a different console probably. Along with Path of Destruction. Just so I can have all, all three of those games. But yeah. There are still a few more games I have to buy. And this is the reason of why I bought a PlayStation 2 again. The game that I'm playing right now is another reason of why, because it doesn't have everything in it. So yeah guys, this video was about the reason of why I bought a PlayStation 2. For almost $200, and yes, it was worth it, because the PlayStation 2 itself works 100% fine. If you guys want me to do a video on this game, all you gotta do... Is let me know in the comments and also on my social media pages if you have my social media because I know some of you out there who are listening have my social media you can also find my PlayStation name and my Xbox name in the um uh in the I'm a I'm a I'm a, just in my channel description box if you want to follow me and all that stuff and yeah that's it for this video guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. I think I might do a Grand Turismo video next time. Maybe, I'm not sure. We'll see. Well, not Grand Turismo, but just a racing game in general. But I need to see if I can do something with my PS4. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, wait, there's still more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, 
subscribe and share the channel. Please share the channel. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love you all, and I will see you all next time. Bye.